is Dr. Alex Porter and I'm a neuro-oncologist at Mayo Clinic in Arizona. I'd like to tell you a little bit about leptomeningeal metastases, also known as carcinomatous meningitis or neoplastic meningitis. It's a disorder that we're starting to see with more uh, incidence, though it's relatively rare. It's more common uh, occurring in patients who have lung cancer or breast cancer and have been well treated for quite some time. Often if you find a patient who has various neurologic symptoms like multiple cranial neuropathies or signs or symptoms of increased intracranial pressure, neoplastic meningitis is something that comes up in the differential diagnosis. The first step is a neurologic evaluation followed by imaging. MRI with and without contrast is the gold standard of imaging and oftentimes uh, can pick up the abnormality. What we see is inflammation of the coverings of the brain or the meninges. The next step then is a spinal fluid assessment. The spinal fluid can reveal cancer cells and uh, that is what ends up causing the meningitis or the inflammation of the meninges themselves. This is considered a late and often end stage complication of systemic cancer and the treatment options are limited. Sometimes just for palliation or control of the symptoms, radiation therapy is offered. Other times a patient may be a good candidate to receive chemotherapy either through the vein or even through the, um, the spinal fluid compartments themselves. In any case, it's a serious diagnosis and uh, often uh, ends up contributing significantly to patient uh, morbidity and mortality. For more information, please refer to our website at mayoclinic.com.